Alright, so, uh, yeah. This week's story time, and I apologize if I go into a coughing fit. Um, everyone in my house, everyone in this house is sick right now. Uh, my mom's sick, my sister's sick, dad's probably getting sick. Um, I'm sick, probably. Um, so yeah. Well, anyways, uh, this week, um, I figured I'd give you a little story on my first square baler. Um, my first square baler was a John Deere 24T without a kicker. Um, as many of you know, I now have a John Deere 336 with a kicker on it. Um, but anyways, uh, I think I was like, this was, this actually wasn't that long ago. I was like 16, 17. I think I was 17 because I had my driver's license for a little while. But um, I had the bright idea that I was going to start making small square bales um, to and sell them. Uh, and Pap was all for it. Um, he, he thought that'd be a good way to another income or something. That would be a good learning experience for me on the small square bales. So he uh, he was all for it. And he 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 looked through the paper and find cheap balers. Um, I had started looking at ones with kickers, and I ended up with one that wasn't a kicker, didn't have a kicker on it. Um, but uh, yeah, so I was reading. So he was reading through. I think it was one of the free. I think it was the Shoppers Remedy or something. It's one of the free papers that we get out here. Um, in Central PA, you get it for free at the gas station. Um, and he was going through the classified section, and he saw a John Deere 24T uh, square baler for sale. Um, I think the guy wanted like 900 bucks for it or something. So he gave it to me, and I called about it, and the guy told me all about it. And I mean, the way it sounded, it sounded like it was a good one. Um, didn't sound like there was anything wrong with it. I got directions, had an address. Um, couldn't follow the guy's directions at all. Um, his, his directions, I've never seen a, the worst directions. I don't know if he thought I was going to come a different way than what I did, but those directions were bad. I mean, they were so bogus it wasn't even funny. He's like, turn left at a church on to such and such road. Um, well, such and such road wasn't near a church at all. It was in the middle of a... It was right by a cornfield, so uh, it, it was it was awful. Um, but I was fortunate enough that I had the address. Um, and it was right about the time that I'd got the, the phone that I'm using now to videotape this. is the one of those smarter than me phones. Um, and it had GPS and maps. Yep, the old GPS used, I didn't have the phone for three weeks and was already using the GPS on it to get me, get me to look at the piece of equipment which comes in very handy I mean I cannot there Google Maps on my cell phone has saved me more times than not um, I, I always look to see where I'm going before just in case Google Maps puts me in the middle of a cornfield but nine times out of ten Google Maps puts me right right at the person's driveway so but anyways uh, I put the address into the phone and got us there five minutes. Um, but as we were going there, Pap says to me, he's like, this this looks, this is a similar way going to one of his, one of the guys he knew's house. Um, and he's like, boy, this, this, this is awfully familiar. And we pull in the driveway and I recognized one of the trucks and he recognized the guy that was standing there and wouldn't you know it, lo and behold, we were at one of his buddy's houses. To look at this John Deere 24T square baler. Um, so we get out. We we took Pap at a geo tracker at that time. So we we took that. Uh, I wasn't very much better. I I was driving a Chevy Cavalier. Um, my dad still drives that to work. But um, we got out and I. You know, we, they talked a little bit and we went and looked at the square baler. And I mean it was like the perfect condition. Like, it was a 1960-something John Deere 24T square baler. But this thing looked like it had, like, less than 2,000 bales put through it. The paint was still on the inside of the bale chamber. I mean, it was perfect. Um, so I we looked at it and stood there talking a little bit. And Pap looks at me and he says, do you want it? I said, yeah, I want it. Uh, I, I'd taken my checkbook with. I mean, it was... 
I, I was ready to buy it. Um, and Paps, and so then Paps started doing the old, started trying to beat him on the, beat him down on the price a little bit. Um, I mean, I, I was happy paying what the guy wanted for it. Uh, but Pap decided that he was going to try to get a better deal, which works out in my favor more often than not. Um, Pap's usually the one that beats the guys down on the prices of stuff. Um, but, uh, yeah. So we had, so he ended up getting them down to 850 from 900 which is 50 bucks, big deal. Um, I, I wrote the check, and we went back two days later and picked up, actually we went back the next night and picked up the baler. Um brought it home looked it over um it was i think i got it when was it i got it right before no i bought it right during haymaking season because we had bought it i i bought it then i think that saturday we put like two three hundred bales through it uh we we had some ha bailed some hay and bailed some straw i mean pretty much that year we square bailed everything uh, mainly because i had a square baler and i wanted to use it um, but I mean that that baler was in the entire time I owned it, which was three years. Um, now, granted, I probably only put a thousand bales through it at the most in those three years. Um, but uh, it might have missed one bale. Um, it 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 if it missed a bale, there was something major wrong. Mistying a bale. Um, and the only time it mistied a bale was whenever I I had converted it over. It had it had Cecil twine in it, and I was dying at the price of Cecil twine. Um, it's still fifty dollars a pack of two balls or whatever. So I was dying at the price of it, and I'm like, I'm going to run poly twine through this baler. Um, and I was reading online that if they're if they have very low wear, they'll they'll run. It'll take poly twine and tie it. So I went and bought two balls of poly twine, put the poly twine in it, tied them together, and the only belt missed is where it went from Cecil twine to poly twine. That was it. I I restrung it, tripped it, and went down the field. I mean that. It 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 just worked. I mean that baler. That was that was a really good baler. Um, and then so I kept it and we used it. And then uh, last winter, winter of fifth, 2015, uh, no, 2016. It was 2016. I got it in February, February or March. I went down to the John Deere dealer and bought the uh, 336. And the only reason I bought the 336 was because it had a kicker. That is the only reason. Um, if, if I could have, if I would have just found just a plain Jane kicker, I would have threw it on the back of the 24T and I'd still be running that baler today. Um, cause that 24T was the best baler, um, by far. Uh, the 336 has a kicker, but, uh, I've been on and off the tractor fighting with that baler more times than I've ever in three years of running the other one. Um, actually, I, and I kept the, uh, 24T, uh, for right up until second cutting this year, because I kept it to as a spare baler, because I didn't know how this other one was going to work, um, and then I, then I, I decided I, I don't need two square balers, I, I don't know what's going on, what I'm going to do with the square bale market, because I'm, I'm still in the market for a big square baler, that, that's what I want, I want a 3x3 three three big square baler. Um, so I, I decided that I don't need two square balers, so I decided I was going to sell the 24T. Um, uh, so I put an ad in the Lancaster Farming, um, and two days later it was gone. It was sold. Um, I, 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 and I, I made good money on it. Actually, I doubled my money. Uh, the guy, I sold it for 1700 Uh, the, the guy was, and, and the uh, I think I had 10, 11 phone calls on it. People wanting that baler. Um, I mean, it was it was a good baler. I mean, they they'd stand there and does a bail. They'd ask me if it bailed. I'm like, yeah, bails. And then they'd wanted uh, the the one guy wanted to. He tried beating me down on the price, and I looked at him and said, I'm not moving a nickel. Uh, this this is too good of a baler for me to. 
I, I know how good the Baylor is, and I, I'm not moving on the price. And the guy's like, okay, well, I, I'm going to have to think about it a little bit. Uh, he said, can I call you later? I said, yeah, you can call me later, but there's like three or four guys in line behind you that want the Baylor. I said, I got one guy that as soon as, as soon as one person doesn't take it, I'm supposed to call him and he's going to be up that day with truck and trailer to get it. Because he was, he was, there was one guy in front of the guy that wanted it. And he was behind the guy that was standing there looking at it. So I had three guys in a row that I was supposed to call whenever the guy before them didn't want it. So the guys, so then finally that guy asked me, he said to me, can I tow it home? I said, yeah, you give me the check, you can tow it home. I said, I towed it home 20 miles, so I said, I don't see why it's not going to tow home 10 miles. He's like, all right, and then he took it, and down the road it went. Uh, two days after I advertised that baler, it went down the road, and I told the guy, I said, if you don't like it, bring it back. Um, I, I said, it, it'll bail hay, and it's not going to miss a bail. I said, if you don't like it, bring it back. And the guy's like, okay. I don't have the baler back, so I guess that guy loved the baler. Um, he, he never called me, he never did anything. Uh, so I, I'm assuming that that guy loves the baler, which th there's no reason not to love that baler. I mean, it was the best baler I ever had, but yeah, it was it was a it was a good baler. I, if you ask, me, I I do miss it. Um, it's uh, the the three thirty six it. No matter what I do to it, it kind of makes a bail that comes out a little bit crooked, and then it hits a kicker, and then the kicker blows it apart. Um, I probably had 15 bales this year that I had to rebail, not because it missed tying them, but because the kicker blew them apart, because they come out crooked. Uh, which I, no matter which way I adjust the packer fork, no matter how perfect my windrow is, it, it, it just does it. So I don't. I don't know, and as a and at the moment, uh, I'll I'll make a decision this winter whether I'm I'm kind of leaning towards getting out of the small square bale market completely, um, just because it's pain um, dealing with what everyone says about the there's that select few group of people that is crazy. Um, I seem to get one of them every year. Um, I haven't had a check bounce yet, but that is my biggest fear is having a somebody comes and takes 500 bales and their check bounces down the road as far as a rubber ball bounces. So, uh, it it I don't know. the uh, it, It's all up in the air. There's a lot of variables yet. Um, and then this will be posted Saturday, November 4th, I think. No, November 5th. November 5th. Um, I'm really thinking about going to a sale Saturday. Uh, the only reason I'm thinking about going to this sale, and I've been watching way too many of Jake Ziegler's videos, uh, there's a white 8900 with four heads. And I'm really thinking about going and trying to buy it. Uh, it's, it's. I've said it in the comment section a couple times. It is a horrible, horrible sickness. Um, I am addicted to buying combines. I don't know why. I am addicted to buying combines. Um, actually, here I'll pause this video and turn it around so I can show you what the combine looks like. I don't know how well you can see this or not, but here, here it is. I'll, I'll get this, make them bigger here. Um, here it is. It's a white 8900. Let's see here. There's that. There's a side picture. Uh, that I'm guessing is the rigid head. Uh, that's a four row wide corn head. That I'm guessing is the flex head. Um, it, it says it comes with four heads, so. Oops, wrong one. Wrong. And that is a six row narrow corn head. And that's the end of the combine pictures. But, uh, yeah. I mean, there's there's some other stuff at that sale too. There's, um, yeah, there's combine, tractor, chisel plow. 
uh, they're actually selling two farms um, but the the problem is it's in um, so the problem is the it's the sales the whole way in Shippensburg uh, it's like it's a it's over an hour drive and I just I don't know if I'm afraid of going there and I don't have enough money um, I, I know with crop prices being depressed right now uh, combine should be going cheaper um, and, and because it is a white uh, not everybody wants it, um, except me, because I'm sort of, you know, screwed up in the head with my sickness, um, but, uh, yeah, so I, that's my biggest fear, or my biggest fear is I get down there and buy it, and I don't have enough money to have it hauled home, um, because I can't just go driving it 75 miles, because that's how far it is down it's, I guess by airplane, it's only like 38 miles, but um, by taking 81 and all them, it's 75 miles. So, yeah, I'm, I'm probably, I'm probably going to have to talk to myself and talk myself out of it. Um, Dad and my dad's borrowing my pickup truck Saturday, so... I'll have to see if Pat wants to go. I might be able to talk him into it, but that all depends if John Deere's done with the 2750 or not. Um, if if John Deere's done with the 2750, he's going to be a cranky son of a gun. Uh, he He's not going to want to go to a sale because he's going to get the bill for the John Deere, and I told him to be prepared that he's going to get three quarters of a new engine in that tractor. But I don't know. It I, I really want to go and try to buy it. But at the same time, I don't want to go and try to buy it. it. It's just, it's one of those you just, you don't win. Um, but now that I mentioned it, everyone's going to ask me if I went to the sale and bought the combine. Or tried to buy the combine. Um, I, I, I just don't know. I don't know what to do. But, uh, well, I'll let you, I'll let you, oh, oh, and there just went my lab report I was working on. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and please comment, rate, and subscribe. Have a good day, guys.